And we are bringing you complete coverage on the migrant situation at the border. Border Patrol has reported a more than 50% decrease in migrant encounters this year. And across the border in Juarez, the city has begun to send consenting migrants back home to their country of origin. We will have more on that program, but first, we want to start here in El Paso. As our storm track weather team has been warning you, the storm system moved into our region, bringing cold and breezy conditions. The most vulnerable were left in the cold, bracing for what else the system can bring over the next few days. ABC 7's Rosemary Montañez spoke with local shelters and migrants about these conditions and joins us live now from downtown El Paso. Rosemary. Now, Stephanie, I would estimate there is about 50 migrants outside of Sacred Heart Church at this time. Understandably, they're trying to get indoors because it is so cold outside. Now, the deputy director of the Opportunity Center for the Homeless says the shelters here in downtown El Paso are operating at capacity, and he says his shelter is taking in both the homeless population and the migrants during this time. Some migrants in downtown El Paso described the cold, saying it was their first time feeling like this. Another saying it was unbearable. Most tell me they weren't prepared to face this type of weather. Outside, you'll notice migrants bundled up, some wearing heavy jackets, beanies, even gloves to stay warm. Cold temperatures always impact us more so than the hot does, um, as those that are home free will tell you. It is much easier to cool off than it is to stay warm. John Martin, the deputy director of the Opportunity Center for the Homeless, says they see more people coming into the shelter during this time of year, including migrants and the homeless population. Martin says they try to not turn people away. In past years, sheltering people in hallways and conference rooms. He says the shelter is always preparing, looking to see what they need. We have had a large amount of community support when it comes to the clothing that's needed for clothing, uh, colder temperatures as well as blankets. But you've got to look at the large number of people that we're serving. And so as it comes in, it's very quickly being utilized. And so we need to get continued support from the community. And Martin says they're always accepting support from the community as well as donations. If you would like to help them out, you can reach out to the Opportunity Center for the Homeless. For now reporting outside of Sacred Heart Church, Rosemary Montañez, ABC7.